Hey family, so you know the hardest part about me taking off time is when I start driving again, it takes a week or two for me to get back into that hardcore, gritty, gritty, dirty, nasty trucker drive. It takes a while to get back in the groove. Well, same thing goes with uh, these videos. Cause I've been filming and filming and filming, but you ain't seen it. Let me put something out. Let's go. Hi, my name is T. I am not a chef. Actually, I'm a truck driver. And I don't drive food trucks, I drive a semi. What I'm about to do is show you how to do what I do on my truck. Welcome to your favorite new food show, Big Taste in a Small Space with me, T. So today I'm gonna do something that shouldn't take too long. It's this red-eyed uh, snapper. And uh, I'm gonna change up a few things the way I show some stuff. Cause sometimes they say, oh, you, your ingredients look good, but you go so fast, I can't keep up. So I put three pieces of this uh, red-eye snapper in my bag, put a little bit of black salt, and this is where I'm changing up. You know, I'm gonna slow this ingredient seasoning stuff down so you can see how much I use. A little black pepper, because if you're looking for me to say a teaspoon and a table, I'm not Julia Childs. We about the same height, but I ain't Julia Childs. Uh, some Old Bay seasoning. Mm-hmm. A uh, little Chipotle seasoning. Got to grind me up some more Chipotle. I like that fresh stuff. Uh, a little wish, 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 wish the sheer sauce. Uh huh. A little garlic oil. If you're in Georgia, find that at the Decal Farmer's Market. Don't use too much. It's strong. Some hot sauce. Whatever kind of hot sauce you like. This is that triple X, that hot Mexican man. Love it. And you mixy mix it. Yeah, I noticed it was kind of dry, so I added just a touch of some olive oil. So these ingredients will mix just a little bit better. A little more better. Yeah. What I said. So, mix that up a little bit. Mm-hmm. In your bag. Keep your hands clean. Yes, indeed. You switch that out. Get your uh, oven pan. Get some aluminum foil. Line it up. And just so your fish doesn't stick, add a little bit of olive oil on your pan. And when you put your fish down, swish it around. You're putting the flesh side down, skin side up. It's going in the oven for about 20 minutes at about 400 degrees. And while that's done, or getting done, I'm going to uh, prep some vegetables and some other stuff. Because I didn't show you, but I got some couscous in my rice cooker. You need a rice cooker. Cooks more than just rice. And sometimes my rice without the rice cooker was iffy. With the rice cooker, it's always perfect. So, I shredded some of um, the, the, that stuff there. Some sweet pepper. Oh, some celery. Some sweet pepper. And I, at first, just cut the sweet peppers in rings, but I figured let me dice them up a little more. What else did I use? I used a little bit of uh, This is some dill. If you never used dill before, dill is great. Yeah, I had to cut the end off. It was getting kind of juicy. Get you some dill. Pick through a little pieces of it. Don't need a lot. Stuff is strong, too. And these are those mushrooms I keep forgetting to tell you about. Enoki. Enoki mushrooms. They're long, little, skinny stuff. Yeah. I like them. I like them. Cut the end off those, too, because that's where the dirt and stuff was. So... Now your couscous should be done. I told you I forgot to show you. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic to the couscous. Because when I boiled it, it was uh, just some salt in there. Add some black pepper. And oh, when you're putting in the rice cooker, one cup of couscous, one cup of water. Two cups of couscous, two cups of water. 
Simple stuff. Put it on white rice and sucker comes out perfect every time. I use some of this chili garlic, garlic chili sauce, whichever way you want to say it. And I used about that much. And this is something new I found at uh, this Asian market too, uh, down the street from the farmer's market. Woman told me about it. That's a black vinegar. I'm going to use that. Add your prep vegetables and herbs, herbs and spices. Mix that up. Nice, hot, and steamy. Mix it up. We'll be doing it while it's hot so, you know, those flavors can pop out and flavor up your couscous so it's not bland and dry. I don't mind cold couscous, but I want it to be tasty. Now, that's the fish after 20 minutes. Skin is crispy. Put your couscous down. Get you some cabbage and those gnocchi, enoki, enoki mushrooms. And man, then it's quick and easy sometimes. Ah, hmm, I might want to make that again. <laughs> Try it out, y'all. You'll love it.